In this video, I'll show you how to make the 3D templates from your 2D sketch. So I've already saved my sketch as main, and I'm going to create two more copies of it by using the file save as command to save a left and a right drawing. So I'm basically going to use the same 2D sketch to create uh, three different 3D templates. So get done with that. And then once I've saved those as different files, I can go back to the data panel on the left and uh, find my files that I just created. I'm going to open all of those so I have them available to work with uh, for this video. But obviously you can work on one at a time. I just find it easier to do it this way. So once I have those open, I'm going to start working on the main template, which is the dovetail um, pin and the full dovetail pin rather. So from the 2D sketch, I'm going to start with the extrude command and then I'm going to select the regions that I want to use to create my 3D shape. In this case, um, I select the two sides of the fork, the center and the pin area. And after doing that, I'm going to adjust the pin template in to compensate for the guide bushing difference between the guide bushing and the router bit. So I'm going to use the press pull tool to move those in a sixteenth of an inch on either side. And you'll notice that I selected both sides there. So now I'm going to add a radius to the uh, inside corners of the template. And this just helps with the strength and also makes it look nicer. So quarter inch radius there. And once I'm done with that, I need to add a counter bore. Now there is a different way to do this, but I found it easier to do it this way. So I'm gonna do a sketch and add a hole, a, sorry, a circle. I'll finish that and then I'm just gonna press it in by an eighth of an inch. But you can also use the hole command to do this, I found later. All right, so now I need to add a slot on the bottom for the T-track. So again, I'm gonna add a sketch, this time on the bottom side of the template and I'm going to use a centered rectangle, make it the width of the template, and um, I'm going to use 0.745 for the dimension because that fits my T-slot. And I'll finish that and then select that region and, and use the press pool tool again to put it an eighth of an inch, I think, no, sorry, 3 16th of an inch deep into the template. Um, so now finishing touches, I'm going to add a fillet around the edges, um, just a 0 0.04 inch fillet will make for a nice clean print. So to do that, I'm just gonna select the faces um, adjacent to the edges that I want the fillet to appear and enter 0 0.04 and I've got a nice uh, print and it really just makes, it's not necessary to do this, but it does make for a little cleaner print. So I'm done with that, I'll save it. And then I'll move on to make the left template. So in this case, I'm again gonna use the extrude tool, but here I'm gonna select only one of the forks and then the center of the template and then the pin region as well. And I'll also select the outside because I'm only ever going to cut one side of that. So I extrude that to a half inch again and press in that pin template by a sixteenth of an inch. This time I only have one side to deal with. And now I'm going to grab the inside corners again at a quarter inch radius. And again, doing my sketch at a centered circle of 0.4 inches. And I'll finish that. And then use the press pull tool to sync that an eighth of an inch into my template. And flip the template over. Add a sketch on the bottom, centered rectangle. Again, this is gonna be 0.74 five inches wide, which is the right dimension for a good fit on my T-Track. Finish the sketch, use the press pull tool, press it in 3 16th of an inch. And there it is. The last thing to do is add a fillet around the edges. So again, select the tool, select the faces. Zero 0.04 for the radius, and there it is. So that one's done, I'll save it. And then now I'll open the right template. And again, using the extrude tool, I'll select the regions, this time the opposite regions of the previous one. And I'll extrude that to a half inch. 
Press that face in for the pin to adjust for the guide bushing. And I'll add a radius to the inside corners. The thing I like about Fusion 360 is how easy it is to select hidden parts of your design. Now add the counterbore to the top. And use the press pull tool. Put that in an eighth of an inch. Add the slot on the bottom. Again, three sixteenths inch deep. And finishing touch of adding a fillet around the edge. And there we go, all three templates ready for printing. So to print, you can either use the utilities command and send it directly to your slicer. Um, I'm using Cura, so I do that. Otherwise, you can export each of your designs as a STL, and then you can upload it into whatever you're using for your slicer and move on to printing.